An Indian startup backed by Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Group is entering the market for human-like robots, taking on U.S. and Chinese rivals. Adverb says it will introduce humanoid robots next year with the ability to perform tasks across industries, including fashion, retail and energy. Joining us exclusively from Noida, is uh, India, is the co-founder and CEO, Sangeet Kumar. And, uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And I want to kick off with, with why you're making this transition, because Adverb is a company that has experience in industrial robots, ones that are used in warehouses, for instance. Why are you shifting now into humanoid products? Okay, uh, for us, it was a natural progression. Uh, we started with mobile robots and we have been selling these mobile robots across the world. And then we moved to cobots, uh, uh, which was for industrial application and medical application. We parallelly developed quadruped. And for us, uh, uh, a robotic company uh, has to have robots of different forms and humanoid is one of the important form which will uh, take on industry and help uh, industry become more efficient and that is why we decided to move to humanoid as well we're just seeing a picture here of the the, the robots themselves humanoid robots i mean we've got some very promising companies that are coming from the us and china in particular what kind of of specifications are you building to here in terms of maybe the speed the dexterity what are you looking at in particular yeah so uh, humanoid robot for us uh, will be a form factor which is uh, right now being built in us or uh, in china or in europe uh, it will be similar in terms of uh, speed in terms of height in terms of dexterity etc but uh, we are not stopping ourselves to only the humanoid which looks like human because uh, unlike uh, so humans don't have wheels we invented wheels but the humanoids of future will also apart from walking like human with two legs will also have wheels in certain form factor which will enable them to be much more efficient so we will not restrict ourselves to humanoids which is exactly replica of human it will be humanoids with other form factors which will be able to do generalistic work so today because of physical ai or because of form foundation models uh, which A uh, AGI enables us to do. So these robots will understand human beings in terms of the instructions which are given. And for the first time, even if those instructions are being given for the first time, they will be reconstruct or construct those instructions into subtasks and do that. Uh, because they have been trained on substantial number of uh, data or access. As I said, Adverb is, is backed by Muka Shambani of Reliance Group. He's also, of course, known as, as Asia's richest man. How close is he personally to this effort? So, uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, it definitely has his blessings. And uh, we are, uh, so they, Reliance is our largest consumer of robots. And also we are leveraging the skills which are there or technologies which already exist in geo uh, in terms of perception, in terms of uh, uh, the stack uh, which has been built for some other application, the 5G etc. Uh, so we are leveraging the strength which is available internally in the organization, combining it and uh, uh, trying to build uh, humanoids which will be used in the industries where uh, we are already present as Reliance Group but also in other places, whether it is defense, whether it is space research, whether it is uh, industries uh, where uh, there are hazardous works which are involved. So uh, we will uh, leverage the strength which is there in the group and combine that strength to build this thing. You mentioned defense and, and indeed military application is one of the, the possible uses of humanoid robots en masse. 
When do you see humanoid robots becoming sort of a national security priority? Because in China, for instance, that has perhaps a lead in this space, certainly the government has been making big efforts to promote and to build a, a, a national industry there. What sort of support are you expecting from India's government moving forward? Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, defense will be uh, one of the largest consumer of robotics, whether it is quadrupeds or humanoids, and for different applications. And uh, this is one important pillar of electronics warfare, uh, including so robots uh, and drones uh, are the two very important pillars of uh, electronic warfare. Now, uh, China is doing it extremely well. America has been doing it for some time. Uh, I think uh, other, other countries would also uh, start doing it. Uh, we have uh, also been uh, developing certain products uh, specifically for defense application. And uh, I think uh, uh, in future there would be a uh, few more companies coming up out of uh, different countries helping their government and not only their government but exporting it to other countries for different applications. Given you're saying that defense will be one of the biggest customers for these types of robots, how are you thinking about your supply chain management then and do you see the need to, to keep it insulated from external threats? So, uh, yeah, uh, see, uh, we will not, uh, so uh, it is for sure that we will not be dependent on one country particularly, uh, there would be a supply chain. We will uh, take it uh, from different countries, whether it, uh, it is European or Japanese or uh, other countries. And apart from that, the, what we have been doing in the last eight to 10 years is we are doing a lot of things inside the company itself. So we are trying to build all the electronic boards which goes into the robot uh, ourselves. So uh, it is a vertically integrated uh, robotic company that we are trying to build. But yes, uh, you are right, uh, supply chain, uh, uh, we will source materials from several countries so that uh, we don't depend on one country in particular. And big question, of course, is, is well, actually, too, how much do you want to sell these robots for? And also, when are you looking to list the company? Yeah, well, both the questions are, uh, see, uh, we have to uh, decide uh, what would be the selling price. And it is not only the uh, bomb cost which decides that it is the market which decides it is what I believe uh, firmly. So, uh, and for different application, uh, for different complexity, it will be different cost. Uh, as far as our uh, IPO is concerned, uh, it is still uh, uh, far uh, right now we are focusing on growing the company uh, we have now a presence in uh, so we have sold our robots in 25 countries we want to further expand it further go deep in these markets and uh, uh, grow the company once we are at a certain uh, level uh, in terms of scale uh, we will definitely uh, think uh, how to proceed further as far as IPOs. That was the Adverb co-founder and CEO, Sangeet Kumar. Come back and join us when you have those humanoid robots out for the market. But if you're a Bloomberg subscriber, you can catch up with all of our interviews by using our interactive TV function, TV Go. There you can also join the conversation by sending instant messages to our team and our guests during our live programming as well. Check it out. This is Bloomberg.